Hi everybody, it's me Max and welcome to the final episode in this series of videos where we're learning how to build the game Flappy Bird. Now up until this point, we have already pretty much finalized the game. The last thing that remains to be done is to create a nice menu to round off this project. As always, all the other episodes of the series are going to be linked down in the description. And if you're looking for the code, you will also find it down in the description. So let's get right in. In the current state of the game, when we crash against a pipe, you can see that we have the chance to reset the game by pressing the button R. So all that we want to add to this game is a starting screen from which we can start off the game. To begin, we're going to create a new variable called game underscore stopped, and we're going to set it to true. Then further below in the section where we handled the collisions of the bird, we're going to remove the function call to the main function right over here. This function call was initially responsible for resetting the game once we run into a pipe and press the R button. But instead of resetting the game immediately, we now want to go over a main menu. And the main menu is what we're going to take care of next. So further below, we're going to define a new function and call it menu. The first thing we're going to have within this function is the global game stopped variable, which we will need to refer to. Then we're going to have a while loop, which is going to be running as long as the game stopped variable is set to true. Because of course we only want the main menu screen or the starting screen to run whenever the game is stopped. And within this while loop, the first thing that we're going to do is call the quit game function. As we discussed in the very first episode of the series, this allows us to quit the game window whenever we press the red X icon in the top right hand corner of the window. After that, we're going to draw a couple of things on our screen. First, we're going to fill the screen with a color black. After that, we're drawing the skyline image, then comes the ground image, then comes a bird image, and finally we're going to add an image with the flappy bird start icon. Another thing we need to do here is we need to check for the user input, because we want to start off the game whenever the player presses the space bar. So we're going to first create the variable user input, and assign it with the value of the user input. And then we're going to say that if the user input is the space key, we're going to run the main function. And the last thing that we need to add to this menu function is an update of the display. And at the very end, we need to call the main function. So now when I run the game, I'm greeted by this really nice starting screen. And I can go ahead and press space to start off the game. As soon as I now run into one of these pipes, you'll see that the game is over. And as when I press R, I can reset the game. And I'm greeted by the same menu screen that we saw at the beginning, where I can press start again to play another round of the game. So this marks the end of this tutorial series. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to help this channel out, then make sure to subscribe and add a like to this video. And let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see me add an AI to this game that plays the game by itself. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.